So Bismillah Rahman Rahim Rabbi Shahli Sadri wa Yasirli Amri Wahlul Uqdata Min Lisani Yafkahu Qawli Amin Ya Rabbi Today I want to talk about the significance and the meaning of the idea of the Qarn of Shaytan. What does it mean that the Shaytan has horns? What is the significance of that? Right? And so uh, let's get straight to the narrations of the Prophet and understand this phenomenon of the Shaytan, okay, which has to do with his horns and why is this significant and what does it really mean. So we're going to look into this inshallah today. So first I want to start off with the very basics. The Prophet Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Inna shamsa tatlu ma'aha qarnu shaytan. Okay, when the sun rises, okay, when the first rays, and I'll show you the meaning, different meaning, when the first rays of the sun come out, right, that shaitan stands there. Now listen to what I'm saying. Shaitan stands there with his horns, okay, or think of he has his horns, right, and he causes the sun to come out like as if he is doing it, okay, so he stands there. And he, he, he lets the, 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 it look like the shape, the sun is coming out between his horns. Okay. So as the sun is going up, it's going up and then his horns. Okay. So now I'll just mention, uh, and then we can read the hadith. Then when it is at the very zenith, at the very peak, then he comes out again and puts his horns between the sun. Okay. As if again, and why? Why horns? Okay, so we'll talk about that in a second. And then the same thing as it's coming back down, he causes the sun to go into his horns. There is this aspect of himself that he has really loves. And that's why he makes people do ibadah and worship animals with horns, like the cow, al baqara okay, the uh, ram, okay, the kabish, okay. And so these animals with horns is, is something that, you know, shaitan sees himself in, in a sense. And this will become more clear as I go through the different narrations on this issue, okay? So the Prophet says, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Inna shamsa tatlu'u ma'aha qarnu shaitan. When the sun comes out, the shaitan is standing there and it's as if, and if anyone's doing sajda at time, that these three times, right, some of the other jinns or even human beings might, but specifically the jinns, they'll see, oh, this is, he's worshipping the big shaitan that's up there, out there. Okay, so that's why the Prophet ﷺ said not to do that. In the shamsa tatlu'u ma'aha qarnu shaitan. Ida rufi'at, so when it goes up high, uh, fa then he leaves. So when it reaches its zenith, then he fixes his horns to the zenith again, showing it's me, the most powerful. And I'm going to explain this in a second. So when the sun now, after its zenith, starts going on the other side, from the east to the west, and starts coming down, so it goes up in a curve, Okay, and then it comes down in a curve. Okay, and إِذَا ذَلَّتْ فَارَقَهَا And when it, as it's coming down, as it comes down from its zenith, he leaves. فَإِذَا دَانَتْ لِلْغُرُوبِ So when it comes down, okay, to, for the غُرُوبِ, for the Maghrib time, as it comes down, قَارَنَهَا Again, he fixes his horns accordingly making it look like the sun's going into his horns. فَإِذَا غَرَبَتْ فَرَقَهَا And then when again the sun is set, then he leaves. وَنَحَا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهُ وسلم. And the Prophet وسلم, has forbidden عَنِ الصَّلَاةِ فِي تِلْكَ الْسَعَاتِ In these moments, these three moments, the Prophet وسلم, has forbidden salah. Okay, the Prophet has forbidden salah in these three moments moments okay so now I'm not going to go into is shaitan always standing uh, because these three places exist at uh, you know these three places 
uh, is he is because every place these three places exist at all times right meaning there's always going to be a place where the sun is rising there'll always be a place where the sun is setting there always will be a place where the sun is zenith and since there's always going to be one of these places is the shaitan at all three places at the same time or does he have his stooges be there at the same time okay which is probably the more accurate uh, meaning that it's not Iblis himself, which is why the Prophet Wasallam did not use the word Iblis, but rather the the Qabila, the people, or the, the people with, or the Shayateen with Iblis, they're given permission to do this as a way of honoring them. And let us now understand this in a deeper way. Okay? So, um, now let me uh, start by saying this is why okay that this qarn okay uh, the qarn meaning this type of sign astaghfirullah okay I'm just showing it for uh, this reason that why so many people use this as a what use this as their uh, symbol okay and uh, because they, it's 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 like this. Let me explain to you what it, what what is the meaning behind this. Look, if I love my Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, I'm going to do things that represent him, right? I'm going to do things that represent him, and behave in ways that he likes. Now, when these people, they start adoring their shaitan to the point where they want to even use things that symbolize him. Okay, things that symbolize him. And uh, what is it that this is symbolizing? I will show in a little bit as we come to this. Okay. So these are people, you know, that, uh, astaghfirullah, uh, you know, these people, this rocker Gene Simmons attempts to trademark devil's horn sign. Astaghfirullah. That's how much he liked it. Okay. This is another, uh, you know, guy doing the devil sign. And then you find all of these people you know, doing these uh, uh, devil signs. What is the meaning behind the Qarn or the... Uh, it is the idea of power, okay? Qarn, the horn, you know, the animal that has the strongest horn and the strongest head, what happens? He wins, right? And he gets everything, okay? And so the horns of power, okay? Manifestations of the horned god, an anthology of essays exploring the horn gods of myth and folklore, uh, folklore, ancient history through modern times. So the horns, they represent strength and power, okay, and dignity and honor. So let's we'll look at a few things in this regard, but also I wanted to show you first and uh, the uh, uh, the Lane Dictionary as far as. Uh, as far as this word is concerned in some of the dictionaries as well as the Quran we'll look at one aspect uh, so ikrana uh, li shay he was able to do to be strong okay and i'll show you the arabic dictionaries in a, in a second uh, you also have the terminology in the Quran called zulqarnain okay so qarnain the qarn here symbolizes power he was the one who had real power but shaitan wants to show that he has power okay and qarnu shaitan and people associated with the qarn, uh, the horns of shaitan are the people who are drunk in the need for power like the prophet said this for the people of the arab world the in jazirat al-arab the saudi government for example okay so now uh Let's look at some of the uh, other meanings in the Arabic uh, dictionaries when it comes to uh, this. Uh, uh, one of the meanings, وَرَجُلٌ قَارِنٌ A man of Qaran, okay? سَيْفٌ وَنَبَلٌ He is a man of a sword and arrows, okay? Then, let me show you another, and uh, in another, لِسَانٌ Arab. For example, you know, this is like one of the most popular. Uh, uh, and then he says specifically about the hadith that we read. read 
وَتَرَى لِعَيُونْ أَنَّهَا تُشَرِّفْ إِلَيْهِمْ So it's when the sun comes out and squints and the shaytan stands there as if tasharrafa, as if he has sharaf, he has honor over them. Okay? Like, I'm the one that's causing this kind of like thing and I have power over you. Okay? So the qarn of shaytan, it, it refers to his need for power and his goal for power. And he gives this to the people specifically who want power. Okay? Uh, uh, then one of the meanings is Sayyiduhum, the one who is their Sayyid, the one who is their ruler. Okay? And uh, also you have Wafi Ra'sil Qawi in the head that is the strongest. Alladhi, Alladhi, the one. Yantabit Minhul Qaran, that place of your head from where the horn comes out. Fi Thabatil Qaran. To show this, the strength of the, of the, of the, of the, it's, it's where the horn comes out. Uh, so these are the different meanings. Now I want to share with you a very interesting book I have. Uh, and I'll just, uh, make this screen a little bit bigger here. Okay. Uh, this is the name of the book. It's called Symbols. Okay. And I'm going to just read a part of this that has to do with horns. So what do symbols mean? Throughout history, they have a certain ta'wil or a certain ta'wilul hadith uh, events that relate to things. And so, I just want to mention this. Horns convey a feeling of eminence, okay, and loftiness, just like the Arabic dictionary of Lisan al Arab mentioned, okay. And this is, uh, and then it, he continues, it's about two pages, but uh, so. You know, uh, it, and then he says what he says that many great leaders, including Alexander the Great, other uh, other leaders, used the symbol of the horn. Okay, as what as uh, as a show of power, as a show of power. Okay, so uh, now and also this is the reason. And this is kind of like what the book goes into, but I'm not going to make it boring by reading all of it, but just give you a gist that this is why the shaitan, you know, so many animals that have worshipped are the ones with this horn, okay? Because it's it's a symbol of power, right? The golden calf, right? And so uh, these horns, they represent specifically uh, power and uh, and and he honors himself with that power. And the people most associated with this qarn of shaitan are the people who desire this power, want to be close to shaitan for this power. And then these are, this is why these politicians and these celebrities are the ones that are usually giving out these symbols because they, they associate with that aspect of the shaitan. Okay, so may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from the, uh, from the effects of the qarn of shaitan. And may Allah curse Na'natullahi ala qarn shaytan and qarn shayateen. May Allah curse the the horns of the shaytan and the horns of the shayateen. Allahumma ameen ya Rabb. So uh, this is the reason that, you know, we're not allowed to pray in these three times specifically. So I hope this gave you a better idea of the idea of qarn and the qarn of shaytan and what it means, and what it symbolizes, and why politicians give this sign out so much, right? Of course, a human being can, you know, make different gestures just by, because, you know, you only have five fingers, you can only do so many gestures. But those people, there are people that do it, uh, you know, in with the intent of doing it, and the intent to show uh, the shaitan that, you know, I, I'm promoting your uh, way, so to say. I'm acknowledging your eminence. I'm acknowledging your loftiness. Okay? And this is what shaitan likes, to humiliate human beings and to put them down and put himself up. Okay, I'll say this, 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 I'